So there were 12 new cases of COVID-19 were diagnosed in the 24 hours to 8pm last night, bringing the total number of cases in New South Wales to 3,620. There were 12,876 tests reported in this 24-hour reporting period, compared with 18,823 in the previous period. There are 110 people with COVID-19 being treated by New South Wales Health. Six are currently in intensive care. Five of them are ventilated. The vast majority of people are in non-acute out-of-hospital care. Of the 12 new cases, one is a traveller in hotel quarantine and three were household cases acquired in Victoria. One case was linked to the Thai Rock restaurant Wetherill Park, two cases attended the Apollo restaurant in Potts Point and five cases are linked to the Mounties Mount Pritchard. New South Wales Health can also advise today that two Sydney schools will not be open for on-site learning today. One student at Bonnie Rigg High School and two students at Greenway Park Public School have tested positive for COVID-19. Contact tracing is underway and all students will undertake lessons at home while both schools will be thoroughly cleaned. Two of these cases were notified after the reporting period and will be included in tomorrow's numbers. All three are linked to cases who attended the Mounties Mount Pritchard. It is important to reiterate that while most cases in the past week have been associated with local clusters and close contact with known cases, some have not been linked, representing unknown chains of transmission in the community. This is why we need to help your help in stopping the spread of COVID-19. If you are unwell, stay at home, get tested and isolate until your test result. Wash your hands regularly, take hand sanitizer with you when you go out, keep your distance, leave at least 1.5 metres between yourself and others and wear a mask in situations where you cannot physically distance. A full list of COVID testing clinics is available on the New South Wales Health website and I'd also like to take the time to remind people that they can visit a GP for a test as well. Finally, if you are advised to go into isolation, isolation is mandatory for anyone identified as a close contact of a case. Anyone directed to undertake a 14-day self-isolation period must stay in isolation for the full time even if they test negative. Early testing may not detect an infection and release from self-isolation based on a negative test could allow an infectious person to infect others in the community. Most people who are infected and develop symptoms will do so within the 14 days of infection. The